the liver built this amazing mechanism to be able to convert fat to ketone bodies because ketone bodies, fat can't actually long chain fatty acids, which is the primary form of fat that you consume in the food you eat, and also the type that's broken down from your own fat tissue, can't readily cross the blood brain barrier. And we know that glucose is a fuel for the brain, but what happens if you fast or you don't consume a lot of carbohydrates and you have low insulin levels and you can't con transport the fat, which is now your primary fuel source on a ketogenic diet because you reduce glucose or carbohydrates in the diet, which causes a reduction in glucose. The reduction in glucose lowers insulin. The reduction in insulin causes fat to be rapidly broken down and now becomes your primary fuel source. And so there's an evolutionary basis for this, right? Because once upon a time, we might have gone long periods of time without eating something. And so our body turns inwards and starts using our fat stores as a mechanism to, to, to fuel our body. And that's why it produces ketones. Basically, the evolution of this diet was believed to be a cyclical, meaning uh, on and off pattern in human history. Because if we were to go through bouts of abundance in food, we probably consume it as much as we can in one moment, and then we're seeking the next meal and seeking the next meal. What happens in that in-between time? If you're 100% reliant on having food 24-7 like we do in our current food environment, you would never survive evolutionarily beyond a few days. So it's a, one of the most powerful survival mechanisms we have to survive uh, moments of famine. We've known since 1921 out of the Mayo Clinic that ketogenic diets not only mimic the physiology of fasting, but also attenuate the seizures in children with epilepsy. And that work has subsequently gone on to John Hopkins and other research institutes to show that this is a very verified strategy for not just epilepsy, but it has been used for obesity, type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes for, for centuries at this point. Um, and it all starts with the reduction of carbohydrates in the diet.